everybody, welcome back to another senior workout class. Today's workout, all you're gonna need is a light pair of hand weights. Um, so I just have two five pound dumbbells. Um, if you have lighter weights, if you don't have weights, you can use soup cans, water bottles, whatever you might have laying around the house. We are gonna be doing some balancing exercises. So if you have a chair or something you want to use um, to hold on to, I would get that ready as well. You do not have to have one. Um, just depends if you would like to have it there to be able to hold on to something while we do the workout. And of course, grab a water bottle and just a little bit of room to move around and we'll be all set. So we're going to go ahead and get started here with the warm-up. I want you to start marching those feet in place, just nice and light. Use those arms at your sides. Just pump them right along with those legs. And take it to a wide march, so widen that stance, same thing. Really use those arms, bring it back in, regular march. Good. Couple seconds here, and take it out wide, wide march, nice and wide, nice and light. Pumping those arms for five, four, three, two, regular march, bring it in. Good. All right, I want you to take your hands here, you're gonna alternate presses. So you're gonna go one to the right, and in, and left. So you're just gonna keep alternating here, and those feet are moving at the same time because we wanna get that whole body warm. So you reach and pull, reach and pull. Good, we're gonna go to double here. We're gonna do one more each arm. So right and left, now we go double. So both arms out and in. So as you go in, I want you to squeeze those shoulder blades back behind you, nice and tight. Reach and pull. Good. Chest is lifted. We're breathing. Feet are still moving. Give me four, three, two, and one. Good. Take those arms, little cross swing here, just kind of nice and light. Shake them out a little bit and bring them back to chest height here. Good, keep your feet moving. You're gonna go right arm out and in, left. So same thing, but just to the side this time, right? So you reach to the wall and reach. Good, do a couple more singles and then we'll go doubles. You're breathing one more each side here, right and left. Now we go together, so go out and in, out and in, open up nice and wide, open up through that chest and pull those shoulder blades back together for four, three, two, and bring those arms down, shake them out. I want you to take your shoulders and just roll them nice and gently to the front, relax. One more here, and backwards, roll them to the back. Squeeze them nice and tight together. Three more here, that's one, two, and three. Arms at those sides. All right, we're gonna go side to side here, so I want you to step over to the right side, and then the left. Just nice and light, little tap and back. Arms are here. We're going to go to swing. So you're going to take them nice and easy here and just swing them back and forth, whatever feels comfortable. Good. Couple more seconds here for five, four, three, two. We switch to bicep curls. So you're going to pull up and down. So just like you have a pair of hand weights, curl those arms up. Keep that side tap going. Good. For five, four, three, two, rotator raises. So you're here and here, here and here. Good. Elbows go up for five, four, three, two, and shoulder press. So up, reach up to the ceiling, nice and high, reach. Last one we're doing here for five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. Come back to the center here. I want you to have your feet, toes pointed towards me. Hands are on those hips 
and I want you to give me a slight knee bend and up. So from this side, it's gonna look like this, knee bend and up. So it's not a full squat, just bend and press. Good, couple more here. Just warm up those legs a little bit more. We're gonna add a side kick, okay? So make sure that chair is out of your way. You're gonna give me a bend, press up, right leg out. So bend, up, left. Good. Do this a couple times. Just warm up those hips. Stand up tall and kick out to the side. Chest is lifted. I want you to give me one more each leg. So this is one on the right, down and up for the left. Good. All right, go ahead, grab yourself some water quick. Hopefully you're feeling a little warm and ready to do your main workout. Okay, so you're gonna need those hand weights or whatever you are using today, okay? So your first one, you're gonna do a squat knee up to a bicep curl. It sounds like a lot, but we're gonna put it together. So I'm gonna show you, weights are gonna be at those sides. You're gonna give me a squat, you're gonna lift your right knee up and try to do a bicep curl while that leg is up. So I told you we're doing balance today. So if this is really tricky and you cannot hold a leg up while doing the curl, you have two options. You can put that foot back down, so lift up, down, and curl, or drop one of your weights, have that chair nearby, you're gonna hold on to that chair as you do a curl with your right arm. So two options. Technically three if you include the one I'm showing you, your choice here, but weights are at your side, toes are pointed straight towards me, we're gonna do 10 of them. So you're gonna sit back, stand up, right leg up, bicep curl. Put that leg down, we go back down for our squat, good, up and curl. So really working on our balance today we're slowing down the movements, so we're not going super fast. I want you to try and pause with that leg up while you curl. So if that means putting one of these weights down and holding onto the chair, then that's what we're gonna do, right? This is number six, you're over halfway. Almost there. Squat up. This is seven, down, eight, up. Curl, that's nine, one more, 10, up, curl, good. Okay, that was number one. Number two, you're gonna get a rest, and then we're gonna go back and do the other side, okay? So, non-balancing here, so both hands are here. You're gonna go chest press, so straight to the front, and then squeeze those shoulder blades back together, okay? So we're gonna do 12 of them. You're gonna try and keep those weights chest tight the whole time. So bring your arms here. We push out and pull, that's one. Really think about squeezing those shoulder blades back together. Good, that's three, eight more. Chest is lifted, arms are up high. Push straight out and squeeze, that's halfway. Good, try not to let those arms drop. Last four, that's nine. 10, 11, and 12, arms down. Okay, we go back to that first one. So squat, lift, and press. This time you're gonna lift that left leg, okay? But same as before, you have 10. So toes are pointed straight forward. Sit back, push those hips all the way back. Drive up that left leg and give me a bicep curl. You do wherever you're at. Again, if you need to hold on to something, that's okay. You lift your leg as high as you can. It does not have to be as high as mine. It's wherever you're comfortable at. This is four. Curl, one more and you're halfway. This is number five. Halfway there, guys. We're breathing, chest is lifted. That's six. Seven, whoo, that side's not so great. This is eight, just two more, and then we're gonna take a quick water break. It's one, 
and two. Good job. We're gonna take those weights down and we're gonna grab a quick little water break here. Okay, before going into the next one, we're gonna do a couple seconds of cardio. So, no weights. You're gonna need a little bit of room. You're gonna have your arms here. You go punch, punch, over, over, punch, punch. So you're just gonna keep going back and forth with your punching motion, okay? We're gonna go for 45 seconds here. So I'm gonna get my timer ready, bring your arms here, and let's go. So you punch, punch, sidestep, sidestep, punch, punch, good. So just kind of getting some heart rates back up here with some cardio. You get to go at your own pace, sidestep. When you keep your punches, I want you to have your arms high so they're up by your face. Try not to have them down here. Hold them up the whole time. You got about 20 seconds to go. And then we're gonna go to some more strength exercises with those dumbbells. Good, 15 seconds right here, all the way to the end. Give me eight seconds. We have five, four, three, two, rest. All right, grab those hand weights again. So your next one that you do is a backward lunge to a press, okay? So you're going to, I'm gonna show it to you from the side. You're gonna have your weights here. We're just gonna use one weight, just drop down to one. In your right arm, you're gonna take your right leg back behind you, bend up and press, okay? So if you need to have that chair, we're gonna get that ready. Otherwise, you're gonna just do it balancing. So I'm gonna put my left hand here, trying to keep my right arm up the whole time. You're gonna take that right leg back, bend as far down as you feel comfortable, press up, step in, and press that weight straight up. Now, if that weight is light and you feel like you can go heavier, you can use that other weight, both sides. So it would look like a double press, okay? But maybe this is just fine the way you are. Maybe you'd like to hold on to something as you step back and bend. Again, working on that balance, you're halfway. We're gonna get a small break after this. Four more, back. This is seven. Last three. Again, you only bend as far as you feel comfortable. It does not have to be a big motion. One more. Back, down, up, and press. Rest, good. Okay, you're gonna need your weights for the next one. So this one's kind of our little break before going to the other side. You're gonna do an upright row to a press back. So palms are facing towards your body. You're gonna drive those elbows up, bring your arms down and press, okay? So you're just combining those two movements for about, oh, let's do 12 reps. So bring those palms facing you, elbows up, we're going together, down and back. Good, so 12 here. Only doing it one time, press back and up, good. That's three, we have nine to go. Working our shoulders and the back side of those arms. How are we feeling? We feeling good? Hopefully you're halfway right here. Do six more and then we're gonna do our lunges on that other leg. It's eight, last four, nine, Three to go, 10, 11, hang with it. One more after this, one more to go. And that's 12, good. All right, we drop it back down to one weight. This time your weight's gonna be in your left hand, right? So your, hand is, your right hand is on your hip or it's holding that chair for support. You're gonna bring that left arm up here and you're gonna take that left leg back we bend up and press. So from this side, take it back, bend up and press. You're going down as far as you feel comfortable. It does not have to be as far as me. And press, good. This is number five. 
That means we're halfway. We have five to go right here. Down, up, and press. So we're going nice and slow. The slower you go, the more you have to concentrate and work on that balance, which is what we want today. All about balance. Two more. This is nine. One more, and we're gonna grab some water. Down, up, step, press. Good. All right, place that weight down and grab yourself a quick drink of water. How are we doing? We're gonna do 45 seconds again of that same move where you go punch, punch, step, and step, okay? So 45 seconds, get that heart rate back up there a little bit. I'm gonna have you go in about 10 seconds. So get yourself into position where you need to be. Your arms are up high the whole time, right? We go in five, four, three, two, punch, punch, step and step. Good. So just 45 seconds of work here, and then we go into another set of weights. We look good. We're breathing. All right, 30 seconds to go, that's it. Punch and punch, and back. Arms are high, right? They haven't dropped, they're still blocking that face. You have 15 seconds left. Almost there, last 10. Punch, punch. Five seconds right here, we have four, three, two, and rest. Good work. All right, next set with those weights. Either one or both weights, your choice. You're gonna do a leg kick with a front raise. So balancing, if you need to have that chair you're holding on, you're gonna lift your leg out and bring your arm to the front, okay? So it's two motions here. You lift, hold, front raise, okay? So 10 on each side, but we're gonna focus on that right side first. So if you're holding onto that chair, position it where you need to. We're gonna go in four, three, two, kick your right leg out, hold, right arm up, and then bring in, good. So we're trying not to lean super far over that way, okay? So I'm not here, I'm holding it, I'm trying to stay up and down with the rest of my body. Whew. And back down. The leg kick does not have to be super high. So if you only go out here, that's okay. The higher you go, the harder it is to maintain that upright torso. We only have two more. You should be starting to feel it in that standing leg. That's where all that weight is going. One more here. And relax. <laughs> Good job. All right, we're gonna grab both those weights again. We have our little break period, right? So you're gonna go both arms, you're gonna go bicep curl, come down, and then out to the side. So we're gonna do 12 of those. All right, are you ready? You have a slight bend in those elbows when you do that side raise. We go in four, three, two, give me one curl, come down, out to the sides, that's one, good, curl. That side raise is probably harder than that curl. Shoulders are usually a little weaker than those biceps. Up, good. That's already four, we only have eight to go. And five right here, almost halfway. Six, if this gets to be too hard on those side raises, give me one arm at a time, just go seven. And then on the next one, you go eight. Otherwise, you're sticking with it together. This is nine. And ten. Only two more, guys. Eleven. And this is twelve. Awesome. Okay, one of those weights goes back in that chair. This time your hand, your left hand is having the weight. Right arm is either on the chair or it's on your hip, and you're gonna go back to your side kick 
with a front raise, okay? So we're gonna go together in four, three, two, right here. So lift, hold, front raise. Bring it back in, good. Core is stable here, it's holding you upright. You're trying to wait until that front arm is all the way back down before you lower your leg. Out, up. That's four, good. This is number five. Halfway, I kind of cheated on that one. I had to put it down for a minute. That's six. Seven. Eight. Nine, one more. Out, hold, and 10, good. Drop that weight down and grab yourself a quick drink of water. We're gonna do one more round of that side shuffle with the jab cross punches. Okay, so 45 seconds. Punch, punch, side step, side step. Whew. Okay, gonna get that heart rate up a little bit more one more time here in 10 seconds. So I want you to get ready, bring your arms up, we go in five, four, three, two, last time. Punch, punch, side step, side step, punch, punch. Good. Last time doing this, we're gonna end with a little bit of standing core work. And then we do some stretches and you're done. Today wasn't too bad, right? Less than 30 seconds and you're done with this one. 20 seconds, hang in there. Can you speed it up a little bit? We only have 15 seconds. Punch, punch, strong punches. Last five, four, three, two, rest. Good job. Okay, standing core work. So I'm just gonna do body weight for this first one. So you're gonna stand upright. You're gonna take your left arm here your right arm is gonna go reach over across and you're gonna try and bring your knee to your elbow. So you might need your chair for this one. So you're gonna hold on to the chair. You're gonna take your right arm over and try and crunch like that, okay? It does not have to be that big of a motion. It's just a small little movement here. All right, we're gonna to go together. We're gonna to do 12 on this side. We'll do one more thing here and then we'll go to the other side. So bring your arm out, we go in four, three, two right here so crunch for one reach two slight bend in that left leg good four try and bring that right leg up five six almost there seven eight nine we're gonna do two more it's ten eleven one more and twelve all right, stand up, grab one weight. You're gonna hold it at your side and you're just gonna reach to the side with your weights, okay? So together we reach. It's like a little side crunch here and down. Make sure you're breathing. Chest is lifted. Good. After six more, we're gonna switch to the other side of that chair. That's seven, eight, last four. We have nine, 10, 11, and you made it, good. All right, take that weight, place it down on that chair, and rotate sides. So we're gonna start without the weight. Right arm is on the chair. Slight bend in those knees. You're gonna reach your left arm over, and together, pull down. Good, so bring that left leg up, we have nine to go. Almost done with that workout. One more and you're halfway. That's six. Good. Four more. Reach as high as you can. Nine, 10, 11, and you're good. All right, grab that weight one more time here. So just one weight. This time it's in your left hand. Right arm can be on that hip. Reach to the side, stand tall. So that chest is lifted here. You reach and stand, good. We just have eight to go, and then we're gonna stretch it out 
and finish that workout. Halfway, six. Last four, three, two more. This is 11 and 12, good. Let's place that weight down, good job. All right, I want you to do some stretching here. So we're gonna take your right arm and you're just gonna pull over and across. Just gently pull with that left arm and wiggle those fingers around, nice and loose. I'm gonna hold it for five, four, three, two, and switch. Left arm over and across. Pull gently with the right arm and just wiggle those fingers around on that left hand. Gentle little shoulder stretch. We did some shoulders with those weights, so we wanna make sure we stretch them out. Four, three, two, and rest. Give me some little arm swings here, just nice and loose. And then I want you to take that right arm, you're gonna go up and over that head and just push back with that left arm. You're stretching out the back side of that arm. So just a gentle little push, hold it for five, four, three, two, and a couple more swings, nice and loose. And then same thing with that left arm, bring it up and back, press back with that right side, just a gentle little push. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and bring your arms down, good. I want you to take your right arm and you're just gonna reach to the side, side stretch. Reach as far over to the left as you can and just try and really push that hip out to the side. And release, stand up, left arm, same thing, reach to the right this time, reach, push your hips out to the wall. And release, back up, hands to your hips. I want you just to move your hips up and around in a little circle. So just nice and easy here, up and around. Once you get back to the top, give me the other way, opposite direction, up and around. Just push your hips back and to the front for four, three, two, and stand upright. Take your right hand to your head and just gently pull your head over to the right side. Stretching out the left side of that neck. And release. Same thing, other way to the left. Now we're stretching out the right side. And release. Take your arms behind your back and just squeeze those shoulder blades together. Open up through that chest and just gently look up to the ceiling. And arms to the front, palms clasped to the front and just round through that back. Stretch out your back, your lower back. And release. I want you to take a couple deep breaths in. So you're gonna take a good deep breath in on the way up. And exhale down again, inhale up. And exhale down, give me one more good deep breath in. And exhale. Thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you had a good workout and I will see you next week. Bye guys.